Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create an animated GIF in Canva. And we're going to be using some of the new Canva animation features that have just been released today in order to create some eye-catching, mouth-watering animations that will grab your viewers' attention and reel them in. So before I show you the exact process, you need to know social media has become an absolute battleground for getting people's attention. They say you've got about 2.7 seconds to grab someone's attention before they just scroll on past your content. So personally, one thing I like to do is use animated GIFs to grab people's attention. That could be Facebook posts, Instagram, anywhere that you can put an animated GIF. A blog post is another one, just to break up the structure of that blog post and put something a little bit different in there to, to, to trigger the brain to keep on looking and to, and to keep them focused and uh, attentive. So let's dive into the content and just before we do, could you do me a favour and like this video, jump into the comments and let me know where is it that you're creating content? Is it for YouTube, blogs, Facebook? Where is it you create content and build an audience? Let me know. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. So a couple of things that we're going to cover in this video are, first of all, yesterday I scripted this video. I, put, I wrote down what I was going to show you and how I was going to do it and some of the different ways and methods. And then I've just logged into Canva today and they've issued some brand new animation features, which makes it a lot easier. So some of the little workarounds I was going to show you are redundant now because they've got a new way of doing it. So I'm going to show you the new animation feature followed by some animation effects and then a speed hack because there is one little issue that you're going to find when you're creating an animated gif in canva and i'm going to show you the way around that so first of all let's create a new design and i'm going to use a facebook post just as an example for this generally facebook's pretty good for creating these animated gifs so that's what we'll do as a sample now animated GIFs can be used no matter what your niche is, whatever your content is, so I'm just going to make something up. I'll show you a nice simple one first of all, and then I'm going to make something up. So let's, for example, let's just use one of these, um, let's just use one of these samples. Let's use this spring flash sale one. Now yesterday, what we would have had to do is click on this arrow at the top, and in this drop down here, there would have been an animation button. But look, new feature, they've moved it, there's an animate button here. So in a moment, I'm going to show you why this is a great little feature. But for now, let's just choose one of these. Let's choose that rise. And do you see, did you see the animation, how everything kind of came up from the bottom? Let me click on a different one. Let's try tumble. And everything comes in from the sides. So if you wanted, if you just wanted a one page animated GIF, that is literally all you need to do. Click on one of these. Your various different components of that page are all going to come in with a different effect, a different style. And then we can just click on download up here and then you've got an animated GIF. So let's just watch that one back again. There you go. Very simple, very basic, but it does, it does the job. Now let's create a new one. Let's get rid of that. And we'll just create a blank one. I'm just going to add the background in and I'm going to keep it... Um, let's just keep it fairly neutral. Let's just um, let's put a nice yellow background on and we've got various different things on the left hand side here If you're familiar with Canva, you'll recognize these but we've got elements photos text So elements is good because you've got loads of little animations in here as well See these stickers so if you click on stickers and then see all and these different types you've got arrows words food shapes uh, emoji um, some social media ones as well. So these various different things in there. And also if you search for something, so let's just put um, pop and do a search. If we click on the filter and then change it to animated, that'll just show us the animations only. So you can see these various ones here. So we could add that in if you wanted. And again, they're really good. They're almost ready made to do an animated GIF with. So let's get rid of that one. But let's just do a very basic design. Let's add some text in. Um, what can we do? Let's just make something random up. We'll add an element and let's just see if there's any pizza elements in here. And there is, let's use that one, quite like that. Shrink it down a little bit. And then we'll just click on add new page at the bottom. In fact, we'll just copy that text actually. So we've got the same same text all the way through. So pizza or, and we'll just add another new page. And let's put burger. Change the size of that, it's a bit too big. 
Okay, and let's have a look in the elements again. Let's see if there's an animated burger. I'm pretty sure there is. I'm pretty sure I've seen one before, and there is. So let's go for that. So that's about as basic as you're gonna get there. So we've basically got pizza or burger. Now, one of the problems that we used to have was that if we tried to download that as an animation, it would only give us one kind of animation style. But like I say, they've just changed this today, brand new Canva animation features. So one thing that I love, which they've introduced, is you can now do page by page animation effects. So let's go to the pizza one. Click on this button here, animate. And we've got all of these different options. Now we, we can apply the same animation style to each page or we can have individual ones. I'm gonna show you one of the limitations of this though in a minute. So we've got various different ones. Block, fade, I'm not gonna go through all of these. In fact, no, let, let's do it. Let's, let's go mad. Pan, more appropriate as it's a pizza. Rise, where it comes up from the bottom. Tumble, where it kind of falls in from both sides, which I quite like. Simple which simple doesn't actually have an animation, but what you'd find is as it goes from page to page, it's one of the only ones where you can change the timing. So you can actually make it slow, medium, fast. Now that would more or less apply to all of them. So if you flicked through and you had it on fast, it would go through each, each frame a lot quicker. Now these have all got the little premium um, Canva Pro symbol at the top, which makes me wonder, have they now made animations free? So Stomp, I quite like as well. It's got like a, like a drop effect. Baseline, pop, neon goes a bit crazy, and scrapbook, which is a bit juddery. So let's go with stomp. I quite like stomp. And then on the next page, like I say, we've now got page by page. So let's press animate again. And for this one, let's just go for pop. And then for the last one, the burger page, let's go for... Let's go for scrapbook. So we've now got these individual animations for each page. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna download that as a GIF. So we're gonna click on this download button at the top. And we've got file type video. So we're gonna actually change that to GIF, short animated clip. It's really good for creating videos as well. Even better with videos is you've got a lot more control over it. So I create a lot of videos and then I import them into my video editor. So when I'm creating these YouTube videos, a lot of the time I've created something in Canva and then I export it and import it into my videos. I'll actually create another video on that just to help you out if you're a YouTuber. But in this case, we're creating an animated GIF. So let's download GIF. Choose which pages we want, download. So that's now downloaded. So let's open it up and check it out. So there you go. You can see the different effects that apply to each frame and it looks effective enough. I quite like it, but there's one little problem there, isn't there? I don't know if you noticed it. I pretty much grew a beard and fell asleep by the time it went through that animation. One thing I would love Canva to introduce is some more speed controls. There's only the simple gift that there's any kind of speed controls around. That's really frustrating. So one of the tricks I'm going to show you is how do we make this gift faster? I'm going to show you that now. So we've gone to a website called easygift.com and we're just going to upload that file that we've just created. So we've uploaded our GIF file and there's actually loads of options in it. It's a really, really good little website. I really like it. But one of the things we're going to do is we're going to click on effects and then we're going to click on speed. And all we're going to do is just quicken it up a little bit. So I'm going to increase the speed of this GIF. Let's just port, I don't know, 6,000 percentage of current speed. And we're going to click on change speed and then let's just have a look at the bottom. So this is what it would look like. So that, to me, is much better. That is about the speed that you want. It's quicker, it's faster, it's going to grab attention. If we go back to the top one, again, it's nice, it's effective, but wow, it's slow. So scroll back down, much quicker, much more effective, and there you go. You then just export that again. So between Canva and this free website, you can quicken things up and you can create really effective animated GIFs. So that's how you create GIFs in Canva, one of the tools that I use daily for all of my design needs. But I should point out that at the time of recording, the animation features are actually a pro option. In other words, you've got to pay for that to get a Canva Pro. So if you're on the fence about whether you should pay for Canva Pro or just carry on using the free version, then I've got a video coming up next which should help you with that decision. It's 12 reasons why you should consider paying for Canva Pro.